this is Nikki and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are helping us on this journey to unconditional love. And so what I want to share today is, um, as usual, I'm just going to make a big shout out for this deck that I use because it is amazing. I would highly recommend it. Um, Sandra and Taylor, the Energy Oracle cards. And I asked what card to use and it was number, of course, 22, which is the sign of the beloved. And in this deck, it's also the yin and the yang, the balance of the divine feminine, feminine rising the planet up in love and light. Literally, you can see that here. And so the message for today is I have, I mean, just some amazing confirmation from all of our higher selves, I have to say, and also from my twin in the actual physical. So yesterday the message was in people's healings and in their readings, I was seeing a lot of abundance and this theme about the divine masculines wanting to fill in the right um, physical setup, right, with money and stuff. So yesterday I was going to meet my twin and um, he, so because he's self-employed as well, we didn't actually meet up, but I said to him at the end of the day, I was like, what happened to our deal? Because he was supposed to contact me to say whether he could or couldn't. And he said to me, he, so he messaged and he said, but well, I've been waiting in all day. And I was like, well, why didn't you just contact me? <laughs> you were supposed to let me know. Anyway, so it just shows about this nervousness about feeling that sense of rejection. You know, the other day we had the little boy not wanting to pull his teeth out. So even though my twin and me, we'd made an arrangement, he was still waiting for me to contact him, right? So anyway, so we had this, ended up having this um, e uh, text chat, which, which much more than we ever normally would. We're going to meet up today. But anyway, let me tell you some things. So first of all, my twin was a really heavy drinker. He's told me uh, yesterday, which I didn't know, but he stopped drinking. And he stopped drinking over the last six six weeks, I guess, when he was been, he's been away skiing. So he said that he's nearly cut out drinking altogether. Um, he also, because his mum died fairly recently... He said that he is, um, he was, the, you know, basically he said that um, he was, he's been to a couple of counselling sessions, um, but he finds it, but he said that he found it really difficult to open up and to talk about things. And, and the third thing he said is that because of this financial stuff, he also said about financials and, um, and said that things for him were going to be starting to look better. So basically all three, I was like, I, first of all, I was so surprised because he was really open with his messages and he's not usually like that. And then secondly, just giving me all this information. He's also been going to the gym every single day as well. And so, so it just kind of confirms everything that we've been seeing in the energy reads and also all of the, you know, in the healings and things because... Certainly from what I saw yesterday, and I'll find out today because I'm going to go and see him. But, so, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep balancing those energies because I'm telling you, from what I saw yesterday or what, what he wrote to me, then I was really surprised. And also what was really nice, it was like when we first ever started messaging each other. It was just super easy. It just felt like it was right at the beginning, which was really, you know, which is lovely. So then, so that's the first thing. So stopped drinking, been going to the gym every day, even seeing, you know, his thought, thought about seeing a counsellor and actually even said that he finds it really difficult to open up to people and to talk. So, you know, and the fact that he's getting financially sorted, right? So all of these things. Right, so then last night I come home and somebody sent me this song. Now, the song is George Harrison, I've Got My Mind Set On You. The first thing I notice, and this is the song today, well, in the video, it's ridiculous. It's got loads of signs. But remember, a long time ago, we had the stag, and the stag was the sign of the unconditional love. Also, in the film Trainspotting 2, which is all about fighting addictions and getting through addictions, they have a massive stag, stag's head on the um, in the program in the film, and this is the set. And me, so independently, me and my twin went to watch the the film at the same same cinema. 
So lots. So, so basically, for me, it's lots of signs about moving out of addiction, moving out of habits that have been holding them back, and moving into this more emotional open space. Right. So I'll tell you again. Look at all the signs in this song. By the way, when I was watching this video, somebody sent it to me. My twin messaged me again as I was watching the video. So I was like, okay, I know you want me to use it. So it's 22 for a start, <laughs> 22,000 followers. It's also two and then double sevens. The double sevens are seen everywhere. Now look at this. We scroll down and there are twin brothers. It says twins. So uh, there we go, the twins. I also scroll down and there is, um, <laughs> there's a DC contact, divine counterpart. There's a cause of David, which is Star of David, DC here. Um, so, uh, which is just that, uh, David Cruz. It's also funny because it's um, a play on the Beckham name, right? Because David is David Beckham, but his son is called Cruz. And he wears the number seven football shirt. Uh, there's also crystal here. I do a crystal grid. There's a crystal here and there's a crystal bell. <laughs> just like ridiculous. But... Then I'm scrolling down and there is a mango tea tree or something, a mango tea. Now, the reason why I noticed it is because it reminded me that somebody sent me a note um, from the Crystal Grid who said that her twit, look, look at this, mango green tea, right? And it's actually a profile picture of a dog. And it has three subscribers, the third energy. Right, so with this in mind, the reason why I remembered it is because I remembered that somebody sent me a picture. She'd been hanging out with her twin for the day and it was when we were getting the messages around Humpty Dumpty. Anyway, so she sent me a picture of the um, tea that, that, that her twin was drinking and it was a mango, it was a mango tea and it also says takes two. Now look at this because, again, this is why we go full, full circle because if you've been watching my messages for a while, you will know there was a Humpty Dumpty theme um, probably a couple of months ago, right? And it was because in a healing, I saw the, the, the analogy was is that the Divine Masculine fell off the wall and he said to me, well, what happens if I'm like Humpty Dumpty and they can't put, and I can't put my pieces back together again? Because there is that fear of if they let you in and they lose you, that they just couldn't possibly carry on, that it would be so devastating to them. So instead of allowing that to happen, they will just not ever get close to you. But because obviously the pull of the heart is becoming too great, then that is the, the, the basically the pull of the heart will always overcome fear. Right. I've just listened to the radio. They were talking about this terrible accident, uh, terrible thing that happened in Manchester. They had a huge vigil for people yesterday in Manchester. And the main point of it, the, the mayor just came on and he said, you know, um, love will always win over fear. So and it unites people. You know, this is what's so horrendous. Things like this, which is so terrible that somebody can blow themselves up and kill lots of children. But at the same time as that, it unites people together in love for those people, right? And for, for each other. So, uh, so listen, the, 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 the Humpty Dumpty says, nowhere in the Humpty Dumpty nursery rhyme does it say that Humpty Dumpty is an egg. <laughs> right. The other reason why this is brilliant, again, uh, I mean, how it's all connected but I see, you know, I've said before that in healings of people, I see a lot of them in their yin and yang, basically the golden egg, and they are bought and they are in the yin and yang egg together because it's, you know, the creation of them together in this yin and yang. So again, the reason that the reason why I'm so in love with this deck is so many of the cards are exact, so symbolic of what I see in healings for people. So, you know, you can also know it's all predestined because this card was definitely meant, you know, these cards were definitely meant for the people, you know, for people that come to me on the crystal grid and for healing. So it's just amazing. 
So the song is this. So bear in mind, the reason why we know that this is definitely from our divine counterparts is that A, my twin messaged me w right when I was watching it. The second thing is it's got the mango tea, which links back to this girl's twin. It's also got the number 22, 22,000 subscribers. And it's got the sign of unconditional love with the stag's head. As well as that, it's even got a DC reference with the seven, which is about knowing that you're on your soul path, knowing that you're on the right path to create the, the life of your dreams. All right, so the, um, the song is this. I've got my mind set on you, but it's going to take money, a whole lot of spending money, and it's going to take plenty of money to do it right. It's going to take time a whole lot of precious time and it's going to take patience and time to do it right but I've got my mind set on you and this time I know it's for real the feelings that I feel I know if I put my mind to it I know that I really can do it I've got my mind set on you and I've got my mind set on you but it's going to take money it's going to take a whole lot of spending money and it's going to take plenty of money to do it right. And it's going to take time. It's going to take a precious time, but it's going to do, but I'm going to do it right. And this time I know it's for real. The feelings that I feel, I know if I put my mind to it, I know that I can really do it because I'm set on you. Well, there you go. I mean, that is definitely the message. The other thing I have to say, because this is hilarious, my twin quotes me a line of a song. Um, and he says, and it's, it's a line that quotes Barry White. So <laughs> Barry White, and bear in mind yesterday's message was about sacred sexual union as well, because I read a chapter out of this book. And um, <laughs> this is just how crazy it is. So Sacred Sexual Union, right, yesterday, the song that we've had from Barry White was Sexual Healing, right? So my twin quotes me a message, a, set, a line out of a song, and uh, it includes Barry White, um, Save My Life, He Put Me Back With My Ex-Wife, right? That was the line he quoted. Now, when I go to search that song, because I was like, what? <laughs> I just thought... A, it's hilarious that he's using Barry White because the Barry White song that we've had is Sexual Healing and that was the message that I read the book out of yesterday. And the other thing is, is that then when I searched the song, guess what the name of the song was? It was da 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 Love Unlimited. So this is a limitless love that creates an unlimited lifetime of amazingness. So if you are in any doubt, just know this. I've just pulled this card. This love is the healer of the ages. It is beyond incredible. It is beyond anything that, that any of us can ever, ever, ever expect. So remember to stay in your heart. Remember to open up your cosmic heart. Remember to live in the love vibration because honestly, these kind of things are miracles. The fact that all of these different people's higher selves, their twins' higher selves, get these messages out every day just spins my head. And so thank you, thank you, thank you.